Okay, this is part two, making animated objects. We have finished up the items themselves. Now I'm going to do a little bit on the bases back here. Um, I got me some collared sand from Dollar Tree. Uh, cost buck twenty-five for a, a thing of sand, uh, but we're going to add some texture to the base here. But first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of glue in there like that. Then we'll take a little brush. We're going to level that out a bit and we're going to make some strings you know create a little bit of webbing like just kind of bring that up a bit see how that goes there then we're going to take some of this just kind of pelt it down on there just like that Tap some of that off. That goes, adds a little bit of color and a little bit of uh, texture. Now we can add some more in the middle there. Again, taking our brush, leveling it out a bit, bringing some more strings up if you want to. Adding a little bit of spider webby there. Again, throwing some more of our sand on it. Uh, sand will stick to that glue. And it just adds a little bit more texture, a little bit more color to the to the artwork. I just want I'm going to add a lot more glue in there so that I can really stretch it around there. What I do with my brush? Done lost my brush. Up oh, there it is. There we go. I'll bring that around. String up. There we go. String that around. Put a lot of webbing on that. Oop. I want a whole bunch of sand in there I got a lot more glue on there tilt that make it look like that let that dry a bit do a little bit of clean up here put that back in there save some of that now that little thing will last me a long time that little buck 25 that was only about two cents worth of sand now, of course, after using a brush like that, your brush is pretty much gone, so you just throw that away. But I get a whole mess of brushes for a buck twenty-five, so get plenty like that. And that pretty much finishes them off. And you have two animated objects, large animated objects from uh, for your Dungeons and Dragons game. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put them into the uh, dungeon we've been creating. one right in there and put one right in the first now put him over here that way you don't see him coming through the front door there and then there's our dungeon if you like what you see hit that like button subscribe get notifications and we'll see you in the next video thank you much